Hey YouTube, this is The Green Cabbie and today we're going to be doing a unboxing and a review of the new Oakton Eco Tester PH2+. Now, we previously did a review of the uh, Eco Tester PH2. It was a pretty simple review. And uh, we went ahead and picked this one up because it is the most comprehensive pH tester out there. And uh, they actually added some features that we could not live without because it actually incorporates two products in one. So not only uh, does it have a pH tester from 0 to 14, which is awesome, uh, it's also waterproof. But now they also have the uh, temperature gauge in there as well. So it'll tell you the temperature of the water that you're doing as well as your pH. And it's a three-point calibration. Uh, so it calibrates at 4, at 7, and at 10, uh, which is really, really nice. We use it to actually test for our aquaponics water, which you see here. We got our aquaponics pond. We also use it to uh, test our soap emulsion because we actually make soap as well. 20,000 gallon rain tank right there. We use it to test that water as well as our aquaponics setup. Uh, we use it to test the water in our duck pond and we love the way that it works. So let's go ahead and pop this open and uh, see what you need. So it comes with two instruction books, one in English and then one I believe in French and Chinese, but I don't speak either one of those languages, so that doesn't really matter. It's got a basic overview over here on how to go ahead and uh, you know, go ahead and get it calibrated, which is pretty simple. Uh, you basically stick it in the liquid and you hit the calibrate button while it's in the liquid and it will go ahead and calibrate it to the closest calibration setting, which whether it's four, seven or 10, which is really, really nice. And then it also has the degrees. Okay, to go ahead and set your uh, degrees, you hit menu until you get down to the degrees. You hit the button over. It says it's on Fahrenheit right now. If you wanted to change it to Celsius, you just hit the down button. So if you want to go to Fahrenheit, you just go ahead and hit it back again. So let's look at the basic overview of it here. So as you see, this one now has a max fill line where you want to fill it to. Before, you just had to guess and say, oh, well, this is the tip of it. So that's where I need to stop putting liquid. So that's pretty cool that, you know, it puts the little max fill line to know how much you need to make sure the electrode uh, is completely covered so it can test the pH. Uh, they are both uh, still have the same pop top uh, right here, and this is what actually seals it, makes it waterproof. Now to open it to get to the insides and the battery, you have to lift it on both sides. And what it does is it breaks that watertight seal. So you see here it's got those four batteries on the inside. Uh, we'll go ahead and provide a link down below so that you can go ahead and uh, get a nice little stockpile of those so that if you need to use them um, or the ones that come with it die, then you have that ability. And if you see here, it's got this little washer that goes all the way around and that makes it watertight. So if you dunk it in water, it's still going to work and it's going to work flawlessly. They both use the same little circular round batteries and we'll have a link below to the batteries that you need for this. It does come with batteries included, uh, but just so that you make sure that you have the backup batteries for the ones you need, it's not something that you're going to go and pay just a couple of dollars at your local Walmart or you know grocery store or anything like that. If you buy them online, you're going to get them a lot cheaper. So basically what you do is you turn it on, it's got your pH, it tells you what it is, and this is an error code because there's no liquid in there. As we said previously, the Oakton Eco Tester PH2 Plus has three point calibration. You can calibrate it at four, seven, and 10. We're just gonna calibrate it on uh, two different levels today. And we'll show you how to do that quickly and easily. So what you wanna do first is you wanna go ahead and take off your cap, and then you're gonna go ahead and fill to your max fill line there. All right, so the first one we're going to do is going to be pH 4. Okay, and you fill it up there to your line, turn on your pH tester, stick it in the solution. All right, and then we're going to hit the calibrate button right here, the CAL. Okay, so it said done, and now it says 4.0, 3.9. So that one is the first point of calibration. And you see that the temperature is 79 degrees in the liquid right there. So it's got that uh, temperature degree on the bottom also. So let's go ahead and calibrate it for the next one. 
you want to go ahead and dump out your testing solution. You want to go ahead and make sure you rinse it with water. Distilled water is preferable. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, test it to the 7. Get that calibration going. All right. We're going to go ahead and calibrate it to the 7. Same thing. You go ahead and fill it up to the line. You go ahead and stick it in your liquid there. And you're going to go ahead and hit the calibrate button. And it's going to go ahead and see, you see the clock, it's ticking, it's going to tell you when the calibration is done. So right there, it's calibrated, it's saying our liquid is calibrated at 6.9, and it's 70 degrees inside there. So like I said, quick and easy, you just hit that calibrate button, it go ahead and uh, calibrates it. So it's completely finished, it says 7.1 there, and it's calibrated and ready to go. Whenever you put your uh, tester up for storage, you always want to make sure that you clean off that uh, little sensor there and you want to probably clean it off with distilled water. And so we always try to rinse it off every time that we use it. So first we rinse off the nodule itself, then we rinse out the cup that it's in. And we just want to make sure it's nice and clean for the next time that we test it. So when you're done, just make sure that you push off the batter, like so. The only drawback that we found between the new one and the old one is that the old one did have a clip on it that could uh, go ahead and clip on your overalls, your pants, or your shirt. Uh, but other than that, uh, we do love the new one because it does have the uh, temperature gauge in there. So we basically are able to eliminate one of our tools that we use. We no longer have to take temperature readings, which is nice. It is waterproof it does have that max fill line so you know where to fill it up to which is pretty awesome uh, so it does you know a great job both three-point calibration but the new thing is is that it's just one push of the button and then it instantly calibrates it to your four your seven and your ten which is awesome we'll go ahead and put a link down below if you want to go ahead and check one of these out we always get our stuff on Amazon uh, it's quick shipping and it gives you the ability to get it in your hand so that you can use the tool right away. I definitely give this one a big thumbs up. Hopefully this review was helpful of the Oakton Eco Tester PH2 Plus. We love it. I just throw it right here in my overalls and it works really good. So thank you so much for watching. If you get a chance, please share this so that other people who are looking for this same kind of product uh, can go ahead and check it out. Please share this video now. Also check out our Oakton PH2 pH meter review. Look at our aquaponics made easy playlist watch our household how-to projects playlist, or enjoy our green living playlist. If you find value from our videos, please subscribe for more green build projects, green and sustainable living, and how to make and save money at home. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.